We're back at Ricardo's in Lacey. It's a popular, low-key restaurant with what locals say is the best steak around. It's our go-to place in the whole region. It's all good. You can't make a mistake here. It's the most tender steaks you'll find in Olympia, or Lacey, or Tumwater. I mean, it by far makes the best steaks around, and I just love a good steak. Now we're going into the kitchen with owner and head chef Ricardo Nelson to cook up a tomahawk steak with a mushroom confit and some tasty potatoes on the side. Mm. I have bling, you have bling. That's how we do it. Let's cook. All right, let's cook. <laughs> We have a lot of meat here. What is, is this? We got lucky. So this is called a tomahawk steak. And it's usually a steak for two here. Okay, yeah. I was we say, that's do a get a couple meat. big guys that got something to prove and they eat it themselves, but it's generally for two people. First, we sprinkle some seasoning on both sides of our steak. What's in here? So a little salt, pepper, and granulated garlic. Then we heat up some olive oil and duck fat in a pan. Now why duck fat? Explain the duck fat. Uh, the question should be why not? Why not? I don't know, because it's so good. It can handle the high temperatures, and it's just flavor. It smells like, you know when you walk into grandma's house uh -huh. and she's been cooking all day long? You can get that by putting that in your pan. You can have that robust, really? like you've been cooking all day long. Once the fat melts, we add our tomahawk steak. So this is like a showstopper. When we first put it on the menu, it was just this novelty item, and you wouldn't sell that many. People Once like we put them on display, and then you started seeing them on Facebook, everyone was taking pictures of them non on the bone. And now we can barely keep them up. While searing our steak, we start slicing an onion for our wild mushroom confit and add it to a pan with a little more duck fat. Onions are cooking. We're going to add a little of our house cured bacon. This is right not now. technically can I smell raw. It no, please we, do. I just please do. To, like, touch it and smell it. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh, this smells so good. No, I love, I love this product. Good. We're just going to pull a little flavor, flavor and let these guys kind of crisp up a little bit. And those are those little, little bites that you go extra wow on. Yeah. We add our bacon to the onions, followed by some Washington mushrooms, the same seasoning we used on the tomahawk steak, and a little butter. Now we're using some potatoes that have been cooked and drained to make a tasty side dish for a steak. You're gonna be my mash I can, helper. You can I do can that. I can do that. I can. Okay. You can mash. I'm right. just gonna add a little bit of horseradish in here. Okay. And of course, you gotta get a little gonna... bit of butter. Nothing really goes better with steak than potatoes. I agree. You know. The tomahawk is essentially kind of like a prime rib, uh -huh. the way we're cooking it real slow yeah, and roasted, so. so horseradish works very well. That's just a little fresh cream, salt and pepper. How's that? That you is... You wanna I'm liking add that. your flair to them? No, you're the, you're the, you're the flair. <laughs> I'm the flair. <laughs> and now it's time to plate our meal. Okay. I'm getting hungry, so. Yeah, no kidding. I'm thinking, we, I'm thinking we can do that, so. Seeing you make all this good food. First, our potatoes, followed by the steak. It always likes to climb up stuff, so we just kind of let it. We just let it get oh, right in there. A little grilled asparagus and our mushroom confit. That's amazing! That just goes on top. That's right on top. Perfection. That is. I think Love so. Love it. This is bling. This is the Ricardo's bling right here. That is. That's, <laughs> my steak has a necklace. You know, that's that's, uh, that's what that's what we go for on that. I, I don't even know how to approach this sometimes. <laughs> While you cut that, I'm going to eat some of these potatoes over here because I'm a sucker for potatoes. Mm. Cut you a little bite there. Thank you. I wish I could take you with me every time I have some. I know, to start cutting some up for you. <laughs> this is a treat right here. Mm. That is so delicious. I love it. Thank you, Ricardo. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs>